Hey you guys, Nathan back with another video. I am so thankful to note that I have hit 500 subscribers on this YouTube channel. I'm thankful to all of my subscribers out there helping me hit 500 subscribers. And in lieu of that, I wanted to share something that I wanted to make a video on and all of my different videos so far have been mostly on the topic of Photoscape X and I wanted to share today why I use Photoscape X and maybe a little bit of the history of it as well. Uh, back about eight or nine years ago I began using Photoscape X and it didn't look like this. It didn't look uh, you know this uh, black and you know gray you know n kind of a neat clean type of a setup. Instead it looked um, kind of kind of odd it didn't look the best it was um, this old clunky interface but I learned how to use it and it was a pleasure to use and I really enjoyed it and I got a lot out of it now using Photoscape X and I began using Photoscape X at the um, basically fall of last year I've really grown in my photo editing ability and also in just my interest to teach you guys more on the topic of photo editing so why did I choose Photoscape X well number one it is a free software and something that I'm very passionate about and I've talked about on my separate channel Nathan Collins life advice I share about how uh, for me growing up, there was a lot of tech things or a lot of creative endeavors that I wanted to uh, wanted to use um, for making, whether it's a video or doing something online. And I ended up being uh, approached by some of my friends and saying, hey, there's different ways you can hack software or get software for free, but that is normally a paid option. And the thing is, I uh, really didn't, didn't like that. Um, but I went along with it because, hey, I got my uh, flashy, cool software. I got to mess around with it and make some projects. But it encouraged imposter syndrome. It encouraged me um, not to you know, look at myself and say, hey, look what I did. It's saying, oh, look what I was able to do with this software that I probably shouldn't have had in the first place. Nonetheless, I wanted to find a free piece of software that would be great for anyone to use. So uh, with Photoscape X, you have this front page which I think is great because even though they haven't done a huge amount of job making tutorial videos they show a ton of different uh, different tools in their library and they say oh yeah if you want to learn a little bit about uh, the uh, battery naming or about how to save a project and uh, how to do macros you know people are like whoa macros that's kind of an interesting thing you can you know click on that and you can go into here and you're going to go to a YouTube video where they've made, even though there's no commentary on it, they show kind of the ins and outs of how did they uh, make this, how are you able to go around and uh, get that kind of programmed uh, tool and how to use it. So I really like that they did that because it helps people who are just bare bones, very simple. And then it also doesn't mean that they have to rely on other people to make content for them. Uh, but instead, they, you guys can have a very simple explanation of each of the tools. And then people like me can make more in-depth videos showing more of the process, more of the th uh, theology or philosophy behind it. So uh, with that being uh, uh, said, we have the editor. And this is where you know the magic happens. You have the folders on the side. And I absolutely enjoy using this piece of software. And the reason why is because over here you can have all these different places where you have maybe your photos stored um, and down here you're able to see all those different thumbnails or different things so I can you know click on a photo and I can view it I can see what's going on I can go in and edit it if I care to but just having it in the viewer where I'm able to look through this stuff but also be able to hit some favorites unfortunately I just recently uh, reset my computer, put some new hardware in it and things like that. I had to redo operating systems. But you're able to go in here and you're able to able to favorite different items. So let's say if this 360 uh, folder was so important to me, I can go in and I could say, oh yes, I want to add it to my favorites. And then over here in my favorites, it's going to show my favorites. You also can have a section where it's both, where it shows um, your favorites folder. And then it also has just your entire computer and looking through all your files and to find what you're looking for. But of course, you can always, if you're just in your file browser and 
you are looking at a picture or something you say hey, i want to check this out you can just take it and you can drop it straight in you know drop it straight into the editor and there you go you have your photo you're editing so this is super great there's also some really cool things i'd encourage you guys to check out my full deep dive uh the beginner to expert one hour uh uh, guide on how to learn Photoscape X but what's really neat is that you have uh, this setup where you're able to star and rate and be able to flag different photos that you might want to edit in the future uh, next you have the editor and this there's just so many tools in here let's just look at this uh, right hand side where you have the adjustment tool and you can just look through here and you say oh wow you've got everything from some type of opacity to a sharpening tool to uh, reducing noise uh, you have down here some other effects whether it's a jitter effect or a radial blur um, you have some transform stuff so like if you wanted to make it look like it's a fish eye lens but the thing is you can change you know what is the amount of fish eye here um, where does the fish eye happen you know, and maybe for a headshot photo, it's not the best to use, but you can compare from the original to what this one is. Uh, and you can see, yeah, there's those different changes, those different edits uh, that you're able to make. But, you know, the edit tab, simply looking at the entirety of the photo. Then you have the color where you're messing with the color, whether it's the brightness or the darkening or how deep or how vibrant or the clarity you know there's a lot of different things and you can make a lot of different moods and things but if you wanted to go quick and simple you have some different filters in here where you're able to get maybe that look that you want but then maybe you're able to go and make that amount so it's not too crazy not overly saturated um, also just other stuff overlays stitches um, old photo effects lighting it's really kind of a fun thing to mess around with you know just putting in some different lights can really enhance a photo make it your own and i think that's really cool uh, going and changing maybe the amount of it to be more or less the scale can be more or less um i just really like to see all those different changes that you're able to make to give that maybe a gradient tone or something like that uh, other things such as frames you can add different frames and borders and things like that if it's going to be a printed thing or if for some reason you think a frame would add emphasis to the photo i think that's pretty cool you can do some different shapes but also what's neat is you can do some different borders where you can do this um i usually you know change the the offset and not the offset but the stroke to only around 10 or so so it's not super big but you get this nice uh, rounded photo with a uh, blur on the background you can make that blur really big you can make it real small uh, but you can go and save those as PNG photos and you're able to then be able to export those and put them up whether on Facebook your website YouTube wherever you're gonna use them for I use them in my videos all the time if you want to check out my um, uh, the best free photo editing software where I'm talking about Photoscape X. I use that so many times to show the different photos in that video, and I think it's really cool. Uh, but that's frames. Going to insert, you can insert an image, you can insert stickers, you can insert text. Text is something that's just been so, so cool because there are some pretty advanced features where you're like, wow, this is actually really helpful, very useful. But you're saying, hey, you can uh, have your text, you can write whatever you want, you can go and pick whatever font you want. Um, but also you're able to go in and change the colors you know you can make it just one color you can go in and you can select any color like something on my face something on my shirt you know wherever you want to select it but you're also able to go in and hit the gradient which is really fun because then you're able to say hey and I'll just make this real big so you guys can see it you can start with a red and go to like a lighter color um, or I could start with a blue and uh, I can end with something else like this is a blue to white um, and you can go and select oh how is it actually gonna look how sharp is it gonna be like that's that's like the sharpest you can go and you can go with whatever angle you want and it's helpful to get those different type of designs and things especially when you're making some type of a thumbnail or something like that so this is what I use uh, solely for my thumbnails at the moment 
Uh, so you can add all sorts of different things. The magnifier is really kind of fun because you can say, oh, I want to have this magnifying and I want to magnify my eye. And therefore, you can have your eye right there magnified. And there's some interesting like filters and things you can put in, you know, kind of interesting, but so many tools in here that you would have to spend um, literally months or years, you know, to mess around with every tool that's inside of here. Um, but I've messed with a lot of them and I'm still, you know, learning new things and kind of looking forward to seeing, okay, I know there's even more packed into Photoshop and Lightroom, which are kind of my next ones that I want to tackle along with GIMP as well. But just so many tools uh, in these softwares. Um, next you have uh, things such as the draw tool where you've got this like real nice uh, paint brush and, you know, you can make it bigger. You can use different types of brushes and, you know, you can get just the color you want or the style you want or things like that. You can, uh, you know, draw a certain portion and then you can go back and subtract a certain portion as well. And, you know, there's just so many things in here. And it's the reason why I use Photoscape X. It's because um, I'm able to organize my photos really well. I'm able to have so much control over the the photos, whether it's cropping, whether it's getting a transparent image, whether it's like in the next tab over here, we're able to cut out a certain portion of the image where I go from a photo like this, or I think this is the original photo, to something where I've cropped out the rest of me in this image and able to do it in just a few minutes. Uh, that was a video that I just made. Uh, you can do, uh, you know, my face switch video, or you could definitely check out the video that I just posted, which is uh, how to add borders, which is, you know, first cutting out everything around it. So then you can add those borders later. Uh, things such as batching photos, uh, collage, combine, uh, create GIF, print, and then even over here, we have some tools in here, like the color picker, picker screen capture, and your renamer. Uh, there's a lot of different tools as well as different preferences in here that you're able to change. So if you didn't like the dark mode and wanted to go back to more of a traditional style of Photoscape X, this is still kind of weird, but you know, there's so many different ways that you can use this software. It's just something that's been a joy to use and something that I believe I will always be, unless if you know something really amazing came up. I think that this is the best photo editing tool to anyone who is using a Mac or a PC and they say, I want to do more with photo editing, but it needs to be free. I don't want it to be real confusing. I think that this is the best option for that. If you're someone who says, I am a purist, I want to really dive in. I want to take my time to learn a ton of stuff. I would say, hey, GIMP is another good option. But for some people who are that uh, in depth into their editing, you might as well take a hard look at Photoshop and Lightroom and say for $10 a month, would you go for something like that? Uh, one thing to note, uh, the Photoscape X does have a pro model, which is a $40 one-time purchase. And I believe that that purchase is worth it if you're going to do more with photo editing. I wanted to be able to answer more questions on my YouTube channel. That's why I purchased it. Uh, but I really enjoy a lot of the features that you get in the pro version as well. But in no way do you have to, you know, take a step back and say, oh man, I have to purchase this because there's tools that I really have to have. So many tools are already in the free version and that's why I recommend it wholeheartedly. And I hope that you guys uh, got some value out of this video. Check out some of my other videos on the channel and thank you once again for 500 subscribers. You guys are awesome and I will see you all in the next one.